Hello Dovernia 6, it's Miss Banks here and welcome back to our online learning. Today we're going to be looking at formal language and your work for grammar today is going to be based on this, so I hope you find this PowerPoint helpful. Formal language is language that is used for more official and serious purposes. This is where the correct grammar should always be used, so you're not going to be using slang or abbreviations. Whereas in contrast, informal language is where the style is more relaxed, chatty and casual, and you can be using slang words and abbreviations. Standing, standard English is accepted as the correct form of English used in formal speaking or writing. So standard English follows the formal rules of the language. So standard English is more formal and the aim of the national curriculum is that everyone should be able to use standard English in both writing and speaking. So it's really, really important and it's going to set you up really well in life. Let's have a look at formal versus informal language. Formal language uses specific vocabulary for the subject, uses correct grammar and punctuation, has a more serious tone and often uses more complex sentence structures. Informal language uses more contractions and abbreviations. Um, it is clear and to the point, has a more chatty and relaxed turn, tone sorry, and it can use text words so like text talk, such as lol and ha ha, things like that, whereas that would be a big no-no in formal writing. So, formal language could be used, for example, if you were talking to Mr Cooper, presenting an award, writing a letter of complaint, writing a report. So normally in school, the types of work that you're doing, you're using your formal language. Unless, say when you were writing the diary of Jim, when he was in the workhouse, you'd be using more informal language because that's a personal diary and you were pretending that you were Jim back in the Victorian times. So other uses of informal language would be chatting to a friend, texting your cousin, talking on the phone to a friend or a family member and writing a personal diary. Here is an example of formal writing. So let's have a look at it. Then we're going to have a look at informal writing. So the formal one. Dear sir or madam, I am writing to inform you of my upset when I opened the lucky dip bag I had recently purchased with my own pocket money. I was disappointed to find that my favourite toy brand had been replaced with an inadequate copy which even had pieces missing. I shall expect to be fully compensated for the distress and inconvenience this experience has caused me and hope that you send a replacement promptly. Yours sincerely, Miss F. James. So this is a letter of complaint. It might be to a shop or wherever, but you can see how they've started it, how they've ended it. There's no slang language. There's no abbreviations. It is written in a formal style. Whereas this example... Hi Kerry, you know the lucky dip bag I bought when we went into town yesterday? Well, you'll never believe what happened when I opened it. There was a broken copy of the toy instead of the real thing. I was so shocked and annoyed that I've emailed the company to tell them what I think. I hope they send me a new one ASAP so I can complete the set. Was your pack okay? I hope so. See you soon, Frankie. So the language used here is completely different. We've got hi instead of dear sir, or sorry, hi instead of dear. We've got the name instead of dear sir or madam. Lots of abbreviations. Y'all, um, ASAP, informal language, see you soon. So the letter C, the letter U. Um, yeah, just very informal, the complete opposite. So this here is informal language. The prior example was formal language. It's really important that you can differentiate between both types of writing and that you're able to do both. And particularly in kind of life as you go on, you need to keep practice, practicing your formal writing as well as your formal speech because it will really help you. I hope you've enjoyed that. Any questions, let me know. Stay tuned for the new video soon. Bye!